Hello my friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Today we're going to find out what's happening this week. But before we do that, I just want to say, you know, congratulations to the winners of the December and January <laughs> reading, uh, free reading. If you want to be added to the list, um, just go ahead and subscribe and comment and just so I have your name and then I'll draw you into the little paper bag where I just pick names randomly. Um, so for December it is Ash Heart um, and for January it is Maya. Um, so congratulations to both of you. Um, I draw one person uh, for free personal reading every month so I'm excited hopefully you go ahead and subscribe and comment and it'll be awesome all right so with that let's go ahead and continue our reading so let's take a deep breath in and close our eyes and now as we exhale and open our eyes choose whichever pile draws you to it all right let's do this Hello group one. So you chose this card, which is actually the courtship card. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a courtship, but it means that you're starting um, where you're learning new things. So you're getting to know maybe people or getting to know a situation or a job. So it's something kind of like you're in the process of getting more knowledge on something, um, be it like actual people or be it in a situation. So you're starting this process of learning. So you're not fully engaged but you're getting to know things and as you do you discover more about yourself so this is an important thing so we have this for this week and we also have the energy of caring connections so you know how i do like to read um what the affirmation is and that is so i'm gonna go ahead and read this one um Go ahead. And so caring connection, friendship, partnerships, two of two possible love. So this card shows a couple in a tender embrace with a woman holding the blossoms of new love. Like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the beginning or deepening or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even a appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. When this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or even pre present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be tender karmic connections at hand. Ooh, that's nice. So the affirmation for this week is, I open my heart and my life to truly caring connections. The ideal friend and partner is coming to me now. Oh, so that's really awesome, isn't it? <laughs> and it's really cool because we have both the courtship and this. So it is like opening up yourself to new connections. See what the tarot cards have for us. I'll open these guys in just a bit. So we have the wheel of fortune so things are changing like uh i definitely see positive yeah there's a new some sort of new offer it's definitely like i would say like it might be like a, a business offer of some kind but it has something to do with like um beneficial um like material benefits here because of the ace of pentacles so it's like a new offer that's kind of like coming out of nowhere and this is like a change in like i feel like maybe some of you were going through like me kind of like maybe a tower moment but this is like a shift in luck in terms of good luck it's going to be something very positive again with the ace of pentacle and with the magician here which lets us know that you're starting to manifest things that you've wanted so if caring connections is something you've been wanting that that is something here also like business partnerships so an offer is being offered so be again like be on the lookout there's good things happening here this week this is week of of like positive things so let's think of let's look at the <clears throat> the love card the love energy so let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so again yeah friendship is strong again this week it's an interesting concept here i love that i i like this is a very positive reading i'm like yay good job Group one, and then we have make vision boards. So that's your um, self care for the week. Self care for the week is to make vision boards. So <clears throat> because we, when we have a vision of what we want, it is easier for us to get it right. Um, so I've been kind of have to be honest. I've been wanting to do this for like at least a year, and I still haven't gotten to it. So let's both do it. <laughs> and for just for your general um i just wanted to this is like a tea fortune card so wanted to make it a little fun this week and so a period of prosperity and abundance so that is really good so and we can already tell that that is true as well so lots of like um 
confirmations, which I love when there's confirmations um, because it's like, oh yeah, it's a definite um, strong, uh, basically it's just a strong telling us to be like, yes, we are definitely. Um, so we have a slightly bitter, which is an interesting thing. So I think, which is, I, you know, the, 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 that is not what it would have been. Um, I feel like, hmm. So I feel like after a slightly bitter, if you, if, again, if you're like me, like a slightly bitter start to the, to the year, I feel like things are going to become like mostly sweet. This is slightly bitter, but some like almost everything is sweet. I feel like that is good. <clears throat> so I feel like this is like the wheel of fortune is with the new change, a new twist. <clears throat> so I, I do like that because it's like, oh, it, it is a new month. So that is pretty cool as well. So we have 5, 2, 25. So the 2 of February, 20, 25th of February. So tomorrow might be like important. Um, we also have 5. So double 5 here. So again, yeah. Am I reading this right? No, I <laughs> can't. So it's actually 6. <laughs> like, yes, it is 6. Okay, so 6 and 5. So these are all important. These are all kind of all happening this week. So those are important dates. So two, five, and six might be important dates for this week. We have J, um, this is Z, N. Uh, we have A. Uh, we also have like, oh yeah. So I feel like there was, I feel like before there was a time of sadness just because of like heartache, um, it's the slightly sweet slightly bitter um so it's like sadness was there we had a lot of sadness heartbreak in some point but i feel like now it's like <laughs> um like spirit and just fortune is like clinking at us and it's like no things are going much better now um we have capricorn we have gemini so earth and air signs so you're starting to sprout these things um so things that are actually not even sprouting you're actually starting to grow the plant here and i find this really interesting because we have like um we have this rain coming in so we're feeling emotions um lots of feeling emotions we also have snow so it's like something from the past when i feel the snow it's like you're trying to avoid something but it's all coming out everything's just coming out i feel like that maybe that's the slightly better we're, we're kind of clearing the path here for things um it's also snowing where i'm living so <laughs> that's funny um so that might be something and also like here we have this moon with the star so like a wish is coming true here a wish that you've been wanting for is coming true we have gold uh gold heart so it lets me know that i feel like you have this like love um this gold heart and that you just want to share like things with the world so don't let like past hurts um keep you from you know like really loving and, and having that connection with others first steps yeah we're getting our first steps to to getting the life that we want and making a vision board is important um and we have v here which i was there all right let's do the sprinkle of charms oh okay. this one's sprinkle of charms i actually feel like that one yeah <laughs> sorry about that all right um okay so i always love when this little frog uh, frog prince comes or frog princess comes so i feel like you've you know you're it's like love is coming here or like um you're getting that prince or princess like you know after like many frogs kissing um there's the the ones here that that's actually gonna you know be a prince and or a princess we also have music is important listen to lyrics sometimes lyrics just connect with certain parts of everyone like they give us messages that we need to hear so i have hello kitty hello kitty wants to come out a lot <laughs> so it feels like childhood to always me like hello kitty maybe has something special for you but it's like to me it's childhood having this like um uh, like i don't know like this fun kind of energy of like i don't know i used to not a lot of collect but i used to have like some pens pens and stuff and they had the hello kitty and paper stuff i just feel like that's like that nostalgic kind of feeling and we have the star here in orange so it's like yeah some sort of like wish that you've been having that it's like a, a creative dream is coming here and it feels like here you can um, I feel like after this sadness, after this thing, it's like, yes, you can, you're going to like, the world is going to start changing for you. Um, so it's a, it's a really, I love that this is, uh, the start for your, like, 
start here and it's just like it's a very positive um so positive week up ahead group one all right i think that is it for you so i am sending you so much love so much light so much happiness so much joy and so much just like <gasps> lots of friendship and beautiful um connections coming your way all right have a wonderful day group one Bye bye hello group two let's find out what's happening with you this week so you chose this beautiful card it's one of my favorite cards in this deck so it's called the distance horizon so i feel like <clears throat> maybe things are like you're just envisioning a distance horizon where it's just like so colorful so beautiful where you're just it's going so well um so i feel like that's the energy you're starting like this week is the energy of like potential of all the different potentials that are out there for you um so we also have here we have the angels of balance so you know how i like to read all of the stuff so that you can get the affirmations and of course write them out later <laughs> okay it just doesn't want to stay up <laughs> all right so the angel of balance so 48 all right so this loving presence holds a this loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance, emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that the greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious that, about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you into the right direction and the angel will guide you to the peaceful and centered approach. So this is your affirmation for the week. I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe cares for me also. It's a beautiful. And I feel like that is as you because I feel like you're planning a lot for the future right now. This week might be just a plan kind of future. And it just it's like all these possibilities out there before you. I feel like that. So but you can't, you know, like we have to be present here too. Um, so let's see what the cards <laughs> So we have the Queen of Pentacles. It's beautiful. We have oh, the Eight of Wands, which is a lot of fast moving Asian emotion. Um, and we also have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like maybe in the past you have been feeling constricted. I feel like you're in trying to find this balance between like being constricted, not too able to do, like tied down in a lot of emotion. So I guess you go through between both of them. Um, the eight of uh like it, since it's a double eight it feels like that infinite like i really want to say that it's like a higher like your intuition and it's also like just the higher letting you know that there is like um infinite i really do want to say infinite possibilities for you we hear the queen of pentacles there's like this nurturing energy like a physical nurturing energy like somebody who likes to cook some Somebody who likes to like um, to take care of others, especially in, in, in terms of like physical, lots of compassion here, lots of abundance here. Um, and there is like a strong foundation because the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded. Um, I feel like that's where you want to be instead of like, I feel like there's this like energy of taking you like feeling constricted and then moving forward and feeling constricted and moving forward. Um, it's this, this and then like the constriction here, it's not so much... Uh, like actual physically binding but it's more of like fear of like uh like yeah thoughts that are kind of keeping you trapped like fear maybe past um pro like you know like kind of like not letting yourself see what possibilities are available for you in this distant horizon and once you do see them you'll start moving a lot faster towards where you want to go I feel like this is you just not wanting to see it um, not that you don't want to see it, it's just that um, it might just be that right now you're not in the state of mind for it. But I feel like with the angel's balance, you can definitely do it. And you have this beautiful future here. Just, I could see it there. Um, in terms of love, it's like heart to heart conversations. This is the energy of the love for this week. Honestly, discuss your feelings for each other. So if you're with somebody, it's time to have a heart to heart conversation. It doesn't necessarily always just have to be with in terms of love. It could be friendships and um, other things, just like emotional things where there's um, love involved. And we have for us intuition. Yeah, this is your um, self care for the week. So really follow through, listen to your intuition. Um, I really want, like, with this 
angel of balance is trying to get that for you. So your intuition is probably telling you, it's like, no, don't feel constricted. We have so many possibilities. And since we do have this double eight, I definitely feel like that's the kind of energy that, um, that's like your intuition, the higher self is trying to tell you. It's like, yes, we have so much potential here. Um, and, and you're so grounded and then, you know, just like we're listening to the intuition to be like, this is not really, um, this confusion, this like being stuck in here. It's like, it's not really, we're going to move forward. We're going to progress and we're going to move so much, so swiftly and so beautifully into this beautiful distant horizon. Um, in terms of this is our fortune, like I wanted to have a little fun this week. And so you're receiving or giving a precious gift. So be on the lookout for, it looks like a diamond. So important gift is coming your way. All right, let's see what the pin for the week is for you. So pin for the week. Oh, here we have. That's the llama. I definitely have to say, okay. <laughs> like, oh, kind of clumsy, sorry about that. Okay. The llama does not want to stay up. Okay, there's the llama now. So llama is like this calm, like I really do feel like listening, meditation, kind of chilling out a lot. Just kind of taking it easy. <clears throat> it really feels like that's the kind of like energy that they want, like is, is important this week. Be like a llama, chill like a llama. Um, we're letting go of the past and moving towards things in the new things. So it's like past and, and future, like past and present and future are kind of all conjoined together right now. And so it's it could be that's why there's like you're you're feeling out of balance right now. But again, call this angel and, and they'll help you um, as you go through it. So we have O, F, J, W. The last letter of your name is important too. So here we go. Um, we have Aquarius, so air energy, and we have um, Gemini. Oh wow, so double air, so definitely air here. Um, so lots of air. We have a tree, so I feel like, you know, you're like, a lot of things have been set. You have this grounding. You're still not there at the word. There, there's, you're still having flowered or, or the, but um, the fruits aren't there yet, but you have a solid foundation now. <clears throat> you have the star, so a wish is coming through. We have this pineapple, which is um, friendships are important. Also, like, don't be so prickly because there's sweetness inside you, but maybe you've kind of covered it up right now. <laughs> so we have the three. We have six, three, and something important. Yeah, like something is like pay attention because there's like important things coming this week. You have the double like pay attention here. There's a trip coming. So maybe like uh, maybe a, a little day trip and maybe something else. Um, but I do love that there is this trip here. <laughs> I feel like you're like a part of you is like, oh, yeah, whatever. Kind of tired of a situation. I feel like this may be you feeling being tired of the situation and you want things to change and things are changing. There's a lot of things, but you have to change the way you think. It's really uh, important. The wind is coming. The wind of change is blowing and it's going to get rid of all this confusion right there. Um, so a lot of good things happening. I feel like this is a, a good week so far <laughs> for group one and group two. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the sprinkle of charm spells. Oh, we have a lot. Okay. <laughs> So we do have, okay, so big messages coming through you. This trumpet is letting me know. There is a big message coming through. Be on the lookout for it. Um, just be willing to listen to open yourself up to it. Self-love, you have the key for self-love. Again, something from the from the past is coming forward here as well. Having like a music. So again, lyrics are going to play an important part of here. Um, this week. So be on the lookout for lyrics that just resonate with something inside you. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, and they have some sort of message for you. We have me versus me. So yeah, it's like whether you're going to change your way of thinking of like this feelings helplessness, like I understand why you would feel that way, but it's like, you know, like the universe really wants you to get out of there and wants you to start moving towards this, like towards this grounding this happiness that who you truly are and we have two cameras so it could be that there's like two of you like uh there's you do might do like be a photographer it might be just that in general like one sees the world as it is like you know like doesn't have any kind of um 
lens there or like we can also look at the world in a more positive way but either way it's like um how we look at things is important like what lens we look at the world is important um i think that is it for you group one i, I overall i think you have a like a wonderful week coming up so <laughs> that is awesome um if you like this please consider liking and subscribing and commenting i love all those things and um thank you so much i hope you wait let me see i am sending you so much love so much light so much joy so much fun so much awesome like gifts coming your way and just a lot of fun and balance and a lot of positivity um, thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye group two! Hello group three! So you chose this card which is gift. So some sort of gift is coming to you this week. Um, it may be small, it may be, it may be big, uh, but the gift is there. It's like, it's something to like, just be like, wow, you know, like be grateful for. So here is that energy for the week in general we have and for our affirmations we have contract. Oh, sorry, shook sometimes we have the shaky shakies and then we also have door to personal healing and happiness so lots of like those are actually both positives um so let's look at what each one means uh, and affirmations that go with it so contract this card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed indicating committed connection of some sort this union may be a business deal the sale of a home a new job or even a commitment in marriage whatever the connection this card is more than a usual agreement it is us usually something that requires a document that's binding at least for the time being the scales of justice are indicate also indicate that legal action is underway if it's if it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and receptive to may, what may be coming your way. So affirmation. I am attracting wonderful beneficial connections that support and honor me and bring me great happiness and abundance. Oh, so that's beautiful. And now we have the doorway. Okay, so the doorway to personal healing and happiness. This card is a, a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light light-filled door opens in lush rainbow lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers whether you're working on some inner healing or such as breaking addiction or looking to make some external changes such as finding a new place to live this card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are just about to appear <clears throat> the changes you've been working on are ready to blossom with wonderful results so make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectation and here's the affirmation for that beautiful card i am strong focused and self-directed i have the power to create a wonderful new reality in my life oh, that is really awesome i love it group three you're doing that's pretty good and we have the gift so many things all right let's look at what the tarot has for us today so we have the page of cups so it's like um could be some of you are water uh um yeah so it could be pisces scorpio um a cancer <clears throat> but it seems like this is like a creative um so he's like usually the page of cups is like has this energy of creativity like learning but learning like um again creative like artistic sort of things so we have the six of swords so you're moving away from something maybe what feels like uh <laughs> it's interesting because you're moving away from i feel like this confusion confusion and like being kind of in a stalemate you're not really sure what to do um and it might be that you have this like <laughs> and it's interesting because we have this two energy so the energy of the king of swords is like somebody who sells the truth um is very like just uh again justice here is important like very just um says things very directly very truthfully um but again it's not like an emotional <laughs> not really emotional in terms of like they'll tell you the facts in, in a manner which could be considered brusque um so <clears throat> but we have this gentleness here so it's interesting to me that it's like this this energy here is is kind of like we're we're moving now we're moving away from like i really feel like this like not knowing confusion that's here um and it's and i feel like for me here is the king of swords is somebody who's an ally who help you see the truth so it's like you might have like a uh, somebody who's older who might really help you in 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 your move and in clearing out this way of like this confusion this stalemate that you're going through so i feel like there's a lot of there's movement here and if you are moving houses there it will be beneficial here somebody who has this um older again very like yeah not not i wouldn't say gentle but they have a 
good heart like they're noble in their um everything that they go through uh okay so here's the love energy so we, worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so this is what's happening um in terms of love this week there is divine timing in terms of self-care clean your space so we need to make room for new things by cleaning our space that's also good when you're feeling kind of stuck just cleaning things out just kind of feels the new energy come through so that's really good um so and we also have fox so shrewdness resourcefulness especially in business so maybe you're gonna have like in terms of fox you're gonna need this you're gonna need to have shrewdness and resourcefulness um so it's good to have somebody like that by your side <laughs> you know it, it, you wouldn't think so all the time but it's like no somebody who actually knows things uh and is good at, at what they do and like has that resourcefulness and that's definitely the king of swords here so i feel like that's an ally for you this this um week uh, let's see what we Ooh, this guy really wants to okay oh yeah okay that's the one you have two that really wanted to come out um there's this lit so it's like ideas you're going to be filled with ideas um or like um aha moments um we're having the level up so you're leveling up you are yeah you are moving towards the things you want and you are leveling up from this <laughs> i feel like this like artistic but i feel like especially in business you can definitely have this artistic and in this kind of idea but you also do need to be good at business um there are two things that you need especially if you have your own business oh that's a lot of business that i just said <laughs> So you have Cancer, which makes a lot of sense. Cancer and Scorpio, yeah, energy here. Um, again, we have the clouds here, which is this confusion. I feel like there's like, you weren't sure what to do. I feel like this is coming through in clarity. Again, yeah, no, so your intuition is kind of like blocked here because there's a lot of clouds, so a lot of confusion here. <laughs> and as if to confirm the confusion, sorry, that we also have the little kawaii emoji um telling us confusion so lots of confusion here that i feel like this person is going to help you cl clear it all out we have two and uh, we have zero our numbers and six so those are good um bung if you know like if love here it seems like there's a distance in the love um so yeah okay so resting is also important so sleepy maybe you am feeling sleepy this week but i feel like rest is important for you as well um so yeah, I feel like you're letting go of like you know you're you're kind of starting to um, grow like like let go of like the the things that are um, like from the past and you're moving forward. So we're, we're kind of letting that go. You're starting to grow those things. Um, so that's really beautiful. So you're starting to grow with that. Um, we have D Q U planting seeds and K um we also have yeah like a lot of love is here there for you um we have a blank one here and we have celebrate small steps yeah we're going to celebrate small steps because we're going to go through this it's gonna like you're going to see all of this is coming through like you know like a lot of positive things happening but like keep the small steps especially because you're moving away from this confusion i'm pretty sure that that's like as you're moving away from confusion you're gonna you know and towards this feels like it's a business kind of thing um, let's see what a sprinkle of charms are. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. Sprinkle of charms. Okay. Oof. You got two hearts. All right. So we have like a wish in terms of love is coming here. We do have two hearts. We have like you some you're somebody's like shining star in terms of that, and you're also somebody's like love. Um, there's a lot of like love here coming for you or somebody's in somebody's heart you're like the queen um she believed she could so she did yep i feel like there's a lot of that for you puzzle pieces are coming to place this confusion is going to be lifted um we have love again lots of love here weakness is a choice so again the weakness is not as it's like it's like being like in this in this in not, not deciding because sometimes when we don't decide you're kind of still making a decision and you need to make a decision here um kind of that's what you need um to move forward so and we have endings coming through and love and beloved yeah it's a lot of love here so if you're in separation with somebody um 
that is like there's still love there for you like you're definitely like there's a lot of love here um so in separation because it might just not be right now that you can be together because of the divine timing for some of you that is very true just so you know um but the love is coming here it's very clear um so yeah overall really positive um i love this um group three you're pos lots of positive things coming this week for you um don't you know like yeah really just allow yourself to like you there there's going to be somebody that's going to help you um that has that shrewdness and resourcefulness um especially with business um accept their help they'll help you to clear up different things that are kind of blocking you right now all right so with that i am sending you so much love so much light so much happiness so much joy so much clarity oh and just a wonderful gift and happiness um thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day group three bye bye